Hi, I'm Vanessa Hill. And I'm Angie Mazzell. Welcome to the Southeastern Spine Institute's medical show on spine health. You know, statistics show that as many as 80% of you watching right now may experience some type of back or neck pain in your lifetime. And for many, that pain will be life-changing. Oh, it was awful. I would just want to cry. I would want to sit there and cry. I'm like, this is not what I envisioned motherhood was going to be like. I just couldn't tolerate the pain, and especially the pain going down my leg. Not to mention, if I didn't need to use my left foot for anything from a driving perspective, it just was not going to happen. So it just wasn't even safe for me to be driving. But thanks in part to the new technologies and treatments found at the Southeastern Spine Institute, more and more patients are now getting out of pain and back to their active lives. That's right, Angie. And did you know that over 90% of their patients get better without having major surgery, many of them needing only a simple outpatient medical procedure? Every day that passed, it was better. I came back, I think it was two weeks later, and he said, where does it hurt? And I said, it doesn't hurt. I was excited because I thought that this would be a way to help me without surgery. The first step to avoid surgery is to get a proper diagnosis as soon as you can and find out exactly what your problem is so that our physicians can help you by using the latest medical treatments at the Southeastern Spine Institute. The faster that we see the patients and, and get that diagnosis and get treatment started, the better chances that we have of avoiding anything more invasive such as surgery. So if you've been told or you think you might have to have back or neck surgery, remember, that's not always the case. Not in this day and age. People do come here and they think that surgery is their only option. That's just not the case. In this day and age, now we can give the patients capability to improve, get them back to active life where they can avoid having a big surgery that they either don't need or, or they don't want. Diagnosing and fixing back pain, it's what they do with the Southeastern Spine Institute. Specializing only in spine ailments for over 25 years, the medical doctors here have helped literally tens of thousands of patients with back and neck pain using the latest medical technologies and procedures found anywhere in the country. Most patients that come through the practice are evaluated by multiple specialists, and because we've been together for this long, we can come up with a more comprehensive diagnosis and treatment plan. You're able to find a, a quality of care that's equal to that anywhere in the country. So stay tuned to find out all about the Southeastern Spine Institute and learn firsthand about the many different treatment options they now have for the spine. And if you're now suffering with debilitating back or neck pain, you will see how people just like you got back to an active life and for many, pain became a distant memory. I can do a lot of things that I couldn't do previously. And when I see someone hunched over a cart, just like I did at the supermarket, I said, hmm, that's, uh, that was me uh, a year ago. Always one step ahead, the Southeastern Spine Institute presents another edition of the Age of Spinal Medicine. Once again, Vanessa Hill and Angie Mazel. Our show is about not having to live with back or neck pain anymore, because with today's modern medicine, there's really no reason. Well, that's right, Angie, and with new technologies come new ways to help people without pills or major surgery. Dr. Mark Netherton explains. There's constantly new technologies coming out every year. Things get better. We've never been able to do some of these things before, and patients are going to get uh, very much toward normal, feeling like they used to feel. The Southeastern Spine Institute has always been a leader when it comes to the latest in modern medicine. And it's for that reason that Flo Foster finally came to the Southeastern Spine Institute when she couldn't find pain relief anywhere else. I had been on medication, acupuncture, physical therapy, chiropractor, and nothing really seemed to work. And I'm a very active person, and having to be almost chair-bound was really uncomfortable and, and horrible for me. And I just figured I'd have to learn to live with this pain. She'd been through a lot of different treatments. She had tried a lot of different pain medications. And for her, the pain medications really, uh, number one, they didn't help a whole lot. And number two, they made her really sick. And for Flo, looking for this type of new technology was just the reason she came to the Southeastern Spine Institute. 
So I kept trying to find somebody who would listen to me and, and diagnose me accurately. So she came to see me. We talked about a little bit different option in a thing called spinal nerve stimulation or neuromodulation. And basically, that is a procedure where by electrical stimulation, modulate the nerves or kind of put a dimmer switch on the nerves. Performed in the Southeastern Spine Institute's own ASC as an outpatient procedure, this neurostimulator stops the pain without the need for most pain medications, and many patients hardly notice them once put in place. You come in, you get the stimulator put in. Immediately, the stimulator's turned on, the pain relief is working. And at that point, she was very happy. Well, I was crying with happiness, and I called everybody I knew, and I said, this is just the most amazing thing. She said it worked fantastic. She said it's the best relief she's had of anything that she's done so far. I'm now able to do everything I love to do. I bowl. I do water aerobics. I walk about two miles a day. I can hike, lift weights, do anything around the house that I need to do. In most cases, we're able to get off pretty much all the medications and use electrical stimulation versus chemical stimulation, which you do with pain medicines. I wish I had come here first. It would have saved me a lot of heartbreak and pain. And you know, Flo's story is not unique. Over 90% of the people who come to the Southeastern Spine Institute get better without needing surgery. And as always, to help avoid surgery, it's best to come in early and get that proper diagnosis. And since the Southeastern Spine Institute has everything under one roof, oftentimes people can get everything done in one day. Now that's especially important for people who come from out of town. Our goal for many years is to be able to put all our medical services under one roof. It makes it much more convenient and obviously more timely for the patient. Very confident in the technology. It's just worth the trip just to get the relief and a correct Not diagnosis. You know, look at it this way, you know, whether or not you're going to do anything about what they ask you to do, just go and get seen so at least you know what's going on with your body. I mean, that's very important. Another advantage at the Southeastern Spine Institute, patients can get the results of their medical test in a relatively short time, and that's important when you're waiting in pain. There was no waiting weeks to get the results, which many of my friends go other places and then they don't hear for two weeks what the results were, and I heard in two days. You go to one building and have your MRI, and by the time you walk back to see the doctor, he's already read it. I mean, it's, it's just amazing, just amazing. Speaking of amazing, when we come back, we'll have the story of a young mother who was afraid that she could never have any more children. So she turned to the Southeastern Spine Institute for help. After we had our second, we thought that we had wanted a third. But I, the pain at that point was so intense, I knew that there was no way I could go through another pregnancy and experience that pain. There was no way. Everyone knows the Southeastern Spine Institute creates medical documentaries on spine health. They're all about the latest medical procedures that help people get out of pain and back to their active lives. Now, you can stream any of our shows to learn more. Just go to southeasternspine.com forward slash streaming. Watch stories from real patients about how new medical advancements are helping people live without pain. And to make your own appointment, call 866-SPINE-50 now. No referral is needed. There is no reason to live in pain. If you or someone you know is suffering with back or neck pain, call 866-SPINE-50 to make your own appointment. Once again, Angie Mazzeau. Motherhood was something Elizabeth Willis always dreamed of. She knew she'd make a great mother. So when back pain began during her first pregnancy and continued after the birth, she figured it was just part of the territory. But during her second pregnancy, when that pain persisted, she knew there was reason for alarm. My obstetrician was very concerned, thinking that it was something wrong in the pregnancy. Um, and, and thankfully, all that was, was okay. But I remember having to lie flat on the ultrasound table was just excruciating. I did not look forward to having ultrasound. That's the best part of pregnancy. But when her second child was born, Elizabeth's back pain got even worse, making it impossible for her to be the mother that she always wanted to be for her two small children. By the end of the day, the pain was so bad, 
we would just sit inside and I would just have to find something inside to entertain them because I, I couldn't go outside and play with them. It was awful. I would just want to cry. This is not what I envisioned motherhood was going to be like. It just progressively got worse. My gut was telling me, you got to check it out. Elizabeth came into the Southeastern Spine Institute because she had heard of their good reputation and she thought they might be her only chance for help. At the Southeastern Spine Institute, you'll find the latest medical equipment and the experience of many physicians in all areas of spine medicine. Well, it's experience here of a number of doctors over a number of years, seeing thousands and thousands of patients. We have an enormous experience with back and neck problems. And fortunately for Elizabeth, Dr. Stephen Paletti had seen her problem before, and he was also confident that he had a solution. Elizabeth had a problem with her back where the bones were actually physically shifting one on another so every time she stood up every time she tried to walk the bones in her spine would shift and pinch the nerves as they ran down her legs he said well you have a pretty serious rare spinal condition called spondylolisthesis and it will require surgery but i was very confident in the technology especially with the, the procedure that Dr. Paletti and Dr. Appleby did is a relatively new procedure. It's quickly becoming the gold standard. It's amazing the technology that goes into these procedures. An operation is very much game planned out. There's a lot of strategy. It was a team approach. Dr. Appleby and I performed the portion of her surgery going through the front to remove the disc and unshift the vertebra. I felt like a new person the next day. You know, we have talked about this so many times on these shows. People with back and neck pain finding out exactly what the problem is. That's right. And in Elizabeth's case, she learned that back pain doesn't just always come along with giving birth and motherhood. If it's that bad to where it's interfering with your life, it's not just normal pregnancy back pain. And there is something that can be done pain-free and expecting her third child, Elizabeth is now enjoying being a mom and finally getting to live the life she always dreamed. I feel like I am not missing out on anything with my kids and that's what I always envisioned motherhood to be and I feel like I'm getting that now because I am pain-free and I can enjoy that, what I always hoped it would be and dreamed it would be. You know, it is so nice when things work out. And it's great for Elizabeth to find the answers to her unique problem. Right, and it's because of those new technologies that are available at the Southeastern Spine Institute that people like Elizabeth are able to find solutions that they just couldn't find anywhere else. And you know that all of this new technology is not only about surgery, but with over 90% of their patients not needing surgery, the Southeastern Spine Institute has the latest techniques in non-surgical and conservative treatments. Well, this is all we do. We only treat uh, spine-related problems here. We have everything right here under one roof, and so if we need to get the MRI scans done, diagnostic nerve tests done, we can do all of that, and then put all that together to come up with a better diagnosis and to help direct what type of therapy would be best for that particular patient. As our motto says, stay one step ahead of everything. There's constantly new technologies coming out. Every year things get better. We've never been able to do some of these things before. The reality of what we did for you is really uh, that technology that's come about, that this is something that we couldn't have done 20 years ago. One of these technologies is rosotomy, helping not only those with back and leg pain, but also new hope for those suffering with pain from arthritis. There isn't any cure for arthritis, but there is a way through this procedure called a rosotomy in which we can block the pain um, from getting through. So even though you have the arthritis, you don't have the pain associated with that. Basically, take a wire and it heats up and it cauterizes the nerves and kills that pain. You know, in theory, and I found in practice that the pain went away. <laughs> this procedure, the rosotomy, has been life-saving for me. I went through a number of doctors, every treatment you can imagine, and it's really the first and only thing that's actually helped me, and I'm so grateful for it. <laughs> So if you haven't had success elsewhere, come in and see if the Southeastern Spine Institute has something new that might help you get out of back, neck, or leg pain.
We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we will hear about the new technologies that are here waiting for patients like Art Snyder, who traveled to Southeastern Spine from Myrtle Beach once it was determined that he would need surgery to correct his spine problem. This was a huge decision to have spinal surgery. Um, I, uh, I called the Southeastern Spine Institute. And as luck would have it, we got in within uh, two weeks. And my wife and I uh, went in, and uh, as soon as I met Dr. Paletti, this is the guy. Fortunately, when Art uh, got here with his diagnosis of scoliosis, the modern technology was waiting on him. There is no reason to live in pain. If you or someone you know is suffering with back or neck pain, call 866-SPINE-50 to make your own appointment. Once again, Angie Mazzeau. A former county emergency manager from upstate New York, Art Snyder and his wife Christine decided to move to the beautiful Myrtle Beach area when it was time for retirement. But not long after they arrived, Art's back started hurting so badly he began to worry that his new life was not going to be anything that he had imagined. I started to do what we came here to do. I was do a lot of walking on the beach, walking uh, on the area around uh, our home. It started to really bother me. And it got to the point where I could barely walk a quarter of a mile without being in some serious pain. And then he was feeling bad because he knew I wanted to walk and I wanted to go places and he couldn't be there with me. So that's when we, you know, took the big steps. The big steps included seeing a number of different doctors, but Art was not able to find relief, and he continued to live in pain. And then, when Art was told that he would need surgery, he decided that it was time to check out the Southeastern Spine Institute and talk to Dr. Stephen Poletti. From the first time we walked into Southeastern Spine Institute, everything was like clockwork. You knew it from the moment you walked in. You were a patient. You weren't a number, and lots of times you're a number. And my wife and I uh, went in, and uh, as soon as I met Dr. Paletti, this is the guy. I was so comfortable with him, whatever he said he was going to do, I was willing to accept. We were able to do a procedure on him that we never could have done 10 or 15 years ago, making a small incision through his side to correct the curvature by putting small wedges between the vertebrae. Modern technology mesh with a problem that used to be unmanageable. It really was a life-changing experience. I was able to go back and, and do the things that we came here for. Best thing was being able to go for a walk on the beach, where before I would go for a quarter of a mile and be in pain. Now I can go for miles. I ride my bike 20 miles without batting an eye. I went out and got a part-time job at the Duplin Winery. I lift 40 pound cases of wine on a regular basis. You know, I'll lift 60 of those cases a day. But the biggest thing is just the quality of life, the change that I've experienced. To be able to do that surgery and see the phenomenal recovery that he's had is pretty gratifying. Thank you. You gave me the life back. Art was so happy that he made the short trip from his home in Myrtle Beach to the Southeastern Spine Institute in Mount Pleasant. Often, people who have been told they need surgery start searching for the best place to have it performed. And many, like Art, are relieved to find that the latest technologies and techniques are right in their own backyard. You know, you don't have to search the internet or travel to other states. The Southeastern Spine Institute is South Carolina's only spine-only practice. You know, they've treated thousands of patients over the past 25 years with the latest medical procedures found anywhere in the country. When I woke up, I, I didn't have any pain, none. It was, it was just, it disappeared. I was wide open ever since. I've never had a pain since then, and I've just been going wide open ever since. I can't keep up with him. He's just on the go all the time now, so I'm just happy. They did a great job. I feel more comfortable here because this is what they do. They specialize in this. They know what they're doing. They've got the experience. That's their specialty, and that's what they do, and they look quickly to see what the problem is, and they work quickly to rectify it. And that's what I needed, and that's what I, that's what I had to have. I know there's people coming from North Carolina, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee coming here because the word of mouth has spread that Southeastern Spine, if you want to get your back straightened out, is the best place to come. Relief from back pain is just a day away. 
The Southeastern Spine Institute now helps end your back or neck pain with same-day surgical and non-surgical procedures. We're helping more and more people get out of pain faster, utilizing the latest microsurgical procedures, including cervical artificial disc replacement. Same-day surgery gets you back to your active life sooner. Call 866-SPINE-50 or go online at southeasternspine.com to schedule your own appointment. No referral is needed. You know, if you have pain shooting down your legs or numbness in your feet that's keeping you from living a normal life, it could be a sign that something is seriously wrong in your spine. So if your life seems to be limited by pain, our next story will show you that no matter how bad it gets, the latest technologies found at the Southeastern Spine Institute can bring you hope. I had a hold of a shopping cart. I didn't realize I was supporting myself with a shopping cart. Walk around like this you know, and life was miserable, and I couldn't basically do nothing. As his pain increased, it got to a point when Patrick Brown's numbness in his feet made driving not only difficult, but dangerous. It was then that he finally decided he'd better do something about it. My toes started feeling tingly and feeling like little pins sticking in my toes. And when I went to put on the brake, I couldn't differentiate between the brake and, and the accelerator. I said, Patrick, you're putting people in jeopardy. So Patrick called the Southeastern Spine Institute and made his own appointment. He got right in to see Dr. Richard Frisch. Dr. Frisch came in and says, I want to show you your MRI because you're a case that we can do something for you. But he says, I want to explain things to you. And essentially what we're looking for is any areas of significant pressure or irritation on the nerves causing pain down your legs, okay? He had a lot of issues with his legs. He had uh, significant legs. compression on his nerves. He had some abnormal motion in his spine, uh, which is causing a lot of disability on his legs, pain, weakness, loss of function. Dr. Frisch felt the best course of action was to take the pressure off of Patrick's pinched nerves by performing a new type of surgery. This modern surgery avoids cutting any back muscles as it's performed by coming in from the patient's side. So by coming in from the side in this particular case, it allowed us to apply a minimally invasive approach and take the pressure off of his nerves uh, without having to do a significant incision into his back. Utilizing the latest medical technologies found anywhere in the country, a team at the Southeastern Spine Institute performs modern, minimally invasive surgeries where the surgeon comes in from the side of the patient. Avoiding cutting any muscle, skilled surgeons make an incision less than an inch long, a small all tube is inserted and tiny instruments are used to correct any problems in the spine. This modern surgery has shorter recovery times, better outcomes, and may be done at Southeastern Spine's own in-house surgery center. If that's the case, there is no need to check into a hospital and the patient can go home the same day. One of the main advantages we have here at Southeastern Spine is that we have our own surgery center and we can do many of the minimally invasive surgeries that we do here in our own center. We have some great pieces of technology here, one of which is the operating microscope. It allows us to do very precise surgery by magnifying our field of view it helps us do surgery through very small incisions and is a part of the minimally invasive process. He went home the next day, his uh, being able to get back to working on his farm, which is uh, what he really enjoys. I'm 75. What I was looking at did not look good because I've seen a lot of folks bent over with back problems. And now that I see it, you know, I'm thinking, you're, you're just not taking advantage of the technology that is available today. Come on in, it's just all we're going to do is have a conversation and talk about what's going on, try to diagnose the problem, and then we'll talk about options to help you. Some of those options can be uh, life-changing. So once again, the message is to not wait until things get so bad. That's right, Angie. If you have neck, leg, or back problems, it could be an issue with the spine. So it's important that you go in and you get a diagnosis. And remember, the solution may not lead to surgery, as is the case for over 90% of the Southeastern Spine Institute's patients. Our final story is about a young man who was very active and he thought he could just work through his pain. And sometimes that's effective, but often it's best to come get checked out before you make things worse. 
I'm a very active person. I do a lot of stretching and whatnot. So I kept on thinking, okay, maybe I can make this better on my own. You look up exercises online and you try to do those. And then finally you just realize you're so incapacitated and you just have got to see a doctor. So he called and made his own appointment at the Southeastern Spine Institute. Met with Dr. Paletti and his PA, Amanda. And I went in to review the MRI results with them. And at that point, um, it was advised that because of the ruptures that I had and the pain that I was in, and of course I'm sure due to the fact that I had waited for a while, um, that surgery was going to probably be my best course of action. George had microsurgery when we were able to do endoscopic surgery. Some people call this laser surgery, where we can actually make a small incision and take the pressure off of a nerve that's been injured by a ruptured disc. Years ago, we would have to do a much larger operation. Now we're able to do an operation like George's through a less than one inch incision. As an outpatient, patients are able to get back to the kind of activities that you see him doing now. George's modern surgery was a success and he was able to get back to his active life, doing all the things he loved. Plus, he was finally getting a good night's sleep. It was very important to me to be able to get back into my regular routine, being able to sleep through the night without, you know, tossing and turning. I'm happy that his surgery allowed him to get back to activities sooner than we ever could have uh, imagined. As George would tell you, the sooner you get in, the sooner you get diagnosed, treated, and back to a pain-free life. Because it's just not worth waiting and hoping it's going to get better. You know, if it does, that's great, but why not go and get seen and have it addressed by a physician that knows what they're doing? We hope you enjoyed the show and learned about the latest medical technologies waiting for you at the Southeastern Spine Institute. And as always, we leave you with thoughts from real patients who are so happy to have finally found the Southeastern Spine Institute. Join us again because next time we may be telling your story. Bye-bye. I've decided on Southeastern Spine just really from word of mouth and from the commercials that I've seen on TV, I knew that I did not need a referral, that I could call and get an appointment myself. And so that's what I did. One day I thought this just can't, this isn't right and I'm going to get fixed because I want to enjoy my life again and enjoy my kids. It changes your life whenever you're disabled and, so, and suddenly you're able to do things again. Oh, it's a, it's a great feeling. <laughs> if they have back pain and they've been taking pills and they're uncomfortable and they can't do anything, I've told many of my friends to come down here. Of course, I did research before I went, and then I've continued to keep up with them, um, you know, since I've gone. And, and they're always inventing new things and procedures and whatnot, so they're, they're on the cutting edge of the technology for sure, and I felt very comfortable with that. Once you get here, it is awesome. It's well worth it. Take that step, um, you know, call Southeastern Spine Institute, set up an appointment, and uh, get your life back. <laughs> what do you say to somebody who took away the worst pain you've ever had in your life and gave you your life back? You know, thank you doesn't seem like enough. We hope you enjoyed the show. You can watch any of our Age of Spinal Medicine episodes by going to southeasternspine.com and clicking Medical Documentaries. And if you're interested in seeing if the Southeastern Spine Institute can help you or someone you know get out of pain, please call 866-SPINE-50 to make your own appointment.